hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video we shall be talking about the top seven best neighborhood to live in enugu state and we shall be considering factors like the cost of living the security the road network and other factors please do wait to like this video subscribe to this channel and drop a comment in the comment section can't wait to hear your thoughts on this video the first neighborhood we shall be talking about is independence layout. Independence layout is the own to many privileged people like top businessmen and politicians. It is the neighborhood inhabited by the rich. It also has a lot of clubs, hotel, and agat sports. So the cost of living in independence layout is quite expensive. So goods tend to be quite pricey in this neighborhood. In the area of electricity, this neighborhood actually enjoy quality amount of electricity for the water aspect a lot of them actually depend on purchasing water from tankers so they have good road network the road are wet side so independence layout is filled with beautiful well fenced houses so the place is actually a well secured place next on my list is achiva layout achiva layout is one of the oldest residential neighborhood in enugu it's actually located in the enugu south local government area of the state most of the houses found in achiva layout are mostly old houses though you can find very few new houses in this neighborhood probably due, due to renovation this neighborhood is actually family oriented and a well-planned neighborhood the closest market is the mayor market which is located along Agbani Road. This area do have water especially during the rainy season and in the case of shortage of water, they substitute with the night my water supply. Some of the celebrities you know such as Flavor and Mr. Ro actually grew up in Achvara Layat. So when it comes to cost of living, the cost of living in Achvara Layat is actually on the moderate side. The rent is affordable and it has a very good road network. The actual layout actually has a lot of affordable schools for your kids. So when it comes to security, this place is actually secure. I haven't heard of any bad news from this end. If you are thinking of a neighborhood to raise your family on a friendly budget, this neighborhood is actually a very nice neighborhood. It has it has quality amount of electricity. There is water. The environment is serene, and the road is good. It's well tight. One thing you notice about Achara layout is that as is here are normally from two-story buildings with blocks of flats depending on the preference of the landlords. Moving on to the next neighborhood which is New Haven. In this neighborhood, you will find the low, middle and high income earners. This place is actually a home to a lot of commercial activities. You can find a lot of boutique along this place and the cost of renting a shop here is quite expensive when i mean expenses is very expensive more reason why going to a boutique here to purchase clothes tends to be more pricey because definitely the store rent must show in the outfit because it's expensive so something that you can get from other places or from the market actually for maybe a thousand euro you can actually get it in new Haven for a thousand and eight hundred even as high as two thousand because things tend to be more expensive in this area i don't know the reason maybe probably due to the like i said the cost of housing in this area so this place is usually prioritized as the center of activities in enugu new Haven has a very good road network it's actually a cool place to raise your family so next to my list is GROE Enugu. So GROE Enugu to me is like the Oga Pata Pata of them or so let me use that language. So GROE is more like home to the wealthy people. So the cost of getting an apartment here is quite expensive. When I mean expensive, it's very expensive. So the good thing about living in GROE is that you enjoy coastal supply of power, light, most of the roads are wet tied, and it's a serene environment where everybody made their business. So so in Chiawe, you are likely to see lots of old buildings and it consists more of duplexes and story buildings. Why do new buildings are just recently renovated buildings? Because it has been there for long, yes, it has been known as a settlement for the rich people. So here yeah, you can see business tycoon, politicians, rich people actually dwell in this place. And it's just everybody minding their business because you might not know who your next door neighbor might be. 
Next to my list is Emene Enugu. Emene is an industrial and residential area in Enugu state. Emene actually started off as an industrial layer because it has a lot of companies and it also has the Enugu International Airport which is known as the Akanubia International Airport. But currently, there are actually lots of residential buildings in MNA. Sadly, some of the companies that were found in MNA during its industrial area have packed up. There are some parts of MNA that the cost of living is low, while there are some other parts of MNA that the cost of living there is high because of the kind of people living there. So, most buildings in MNA are either duplexes or flats that do not exceed one story building. Actually, that's for those that actually live close to the airport. Why for those that are actually far away from the airport you can start saying uh, uh buildings of more than one story next to my list is a green new layout one thing you are likely to notice in Ogui Road is the presence of schools on the road. So on this road, you will find the University of Nigeria Enugu campus, which is popularly called UNEG. You will find WTC on this road. And going further, you will find the Institute of Management and Technology, which is known as IMT. So the cost of living in Ogui layout is actually not on the air side. So the kind of buildings that you can find here are bungalows, story building that are mostly face me i face you buildings and um, the kind of people that normally dwells here are low income earners students civil servants and other persons so this place actually have a reasonable supply of water electricity and it's quite secured so guys if you are yet to subscribe to this channel what are you waiting for so please do well to click on the subscribe button and put on the post notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i post a new video and if you are yet to like this video please do well to click on the like button this will help youtube to recommend this video to as many people that need to see this video the last but not the least is Zik Avenue. So Zik Avenue is actually a commercial hub in Enugu. The cost of living here is quite affordable, probably due to the fact that it comprises of old buildings. So Zik Avenue is actually an old neighborhood, which is actually close to Uwani or just around Uwani vicinity. It has mostly old houses except for the few newly renovated ones. So the closest market to the uh, Zik Avenue is actually the Kayata market or the Ogbeti main market. So when it comes to water, this place do enjoy reasonable amounts of water, water supply. So they hardly lack water or experience shortage of water. So guys, I've come to the end of this video. Hope you find this video quite interesting and informative. So see you guys in my next video. Bye.